Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to NTW3 with another glorious 4v4 battle for you today. We have the French here of 1840 marching ready to defend their homeland. Like, well, we're not really in their homeland at all. We're actually at Barossa, um, which is right in the middle of the Spanish Peninsula, but it's a very, very fun map. I don't think we've seen many uh, battles on Barossa before. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool map. I'd like to do the uh, actual historical battle of Barossa at some point. Very, very uh, fun one. Sort of a turning point in the south of uh, Spain for the coalition. Um, we do actually have Britain at this one, but we have a whole host of other allies here as well. We have, uh, I don't know which UK that is. It might just be, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be 100% sure. I think it's 1815, maybe? By looks of it, maybe, uh, is the case. We also have uh, 18, I think it's 1809, um, uh, like Anglo-Spanish uh, campaign there. I've seen we also have the HRE all the way over here as uh, another one of the coalition armies. You can see their general there. And then all the way over there we also have Russia. So it uh, looks like Russia's going to be facing off against 1806. Uh, France, like the Prussian campaign. Then we have 1814. Looks like they're going to be going, going up against the HRE along with maybe also 1809. Looks like they're going to try and double team. And then I think the British might be about to double team um, this 1809 like Polska sort of like a Russia and Poland uh, weird hybrid that you kind of can get well it's not really just Russia either and there's also the Danes here it's just kind of like you know all the allies slapped together into uh, into one cursed army but yeah we have the Poles here it's mainly going to be the Poles I think in this one Poles and the Russians you can see lifeguard Kirasia here and uh, also yeah you've got Polish Lancers yes, and yeah some Vest uh, Westphalian Guard Chevrolet is very good you know, it's got some decent cav actually do the Imperials in this force over here. So you have to make that count because, you know, Britain, it can bring decent cav, but it's not usually its strong point. It's usually its infantry, its reloading skill, its accuracy, those sort of things are their skills. And it looks like as though we're going to have the Chasseur Cheval moving forward here as well. So just scout out, see what the HRE have. They're already revealing some infantry and some cavalry here. Got some Grenz as waiting. They're going to get ready to go. But yes, if you're enjoying the NTW3 action on the channel and would like to see some more, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support, guys. It really does help out the channel. And if you want to send in any of your own replays as well, do send them into my Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's the best place to send in your replays. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like, I mean, we're looking at the front. Oh, gosh, we're going to the world. We do have a live battle already getting underway. You want to know what the world looks like actually underneath? It's uh, you know, not made of soil or you know, or like the raw materials. It's made of water. But uh, yes, yeah, just seems as though that little bit of a fight uh, taking place there. Not really too much. Just you know, just letting each other know that they're you know that they're here. It looks like actually the, the British were winning that the West Australian Jaeger kind of near, uh, unit here looked like took out a few losses. Uh, going up against looks like just typical like, sort of British line infantry. It's like they're having a real tough time there. And it looks like, yeah, there's a charge going on. Just looks like, uh, I mean, Britain, look at this. Britain's getting really around the flanks here of the Polish army, actually. Might be able to see the destru uh, destruction of an army pretty quickly. Yeah, Britain is kind of flanking quite hard with infantry and cavalry. I mean, if I was Britain, I would probably start sending in these units here. I mean, you could obviously risk leaving your guns behind, but Britain could really push hard here and uh, maybe just take out these uh, infantry units. This Another building has really fallen to the enemy. Though. That one can. There's actually a French infantry unit. It's one of few. They brought... Have they brought two giraffes units? No, this is the uh, one giraffe unit on, on its own there. There is also the lifeguard one. They brought a lot of heavy cab to this army. They didn't really go for infantry. And they're getting yet yeah, outnumbered in the infantry category early on here. Force artillery for the Brits is being formed up. Looks like it's like a Spanish artillery beat. Yeah, that's quick moving horse ice race going to be needed. Oh, what is happening here? There's a, a Cossack unit here that's formed up. Didn't really go in very easily. Yeah, that's... Uh, that, that just kind of, I mean, then it formed up to start with and then and got blasted before you even got the charge off. It's, yeah, kind of dooming it. Yeah, one man survived from the grassy unit there. And uh, they did not indeed succeed in taking out those skirmishes, which I wouldn't say was really a primary concern. But they are the only units that they can probably charge and take out. The Brits, you know, most of the units can form square. Cavalry's going to be pretty unaffected in this one. You're going to need to obviously sort of do a good combo with infantry and cavalry. But I don't know whether the uh, Polish are going to have enough infantry themselves. I mean, 
get it. We got a few, quite a few units here that can form square. Which is good for countering the British cavalry. Now we've got some Tars here. They look like they're going to give it a go and maybe charge the Imperial lines here. A lot of the, yeah, the Danish and, yeah, actually I think most are used to form square. As well as we go for that, it looks like we're going to give them a charge from the Cossacks here. They're going to try and capture the Hussars. We'll get a few of them, but I mean, it's necessarily going to be a good idea. The Cossacks and the Hussars, out of the two of them, the Hussars are far more elite. Kill here for them. There you go. Now they can counter charge the uh, British ones. They, they can go for those guns there, which are slow moving uh, 12 pounders. The square is formed, but I don't think they're going for the square. Yet they're going for the guns. There you go. Those Russian guns are going to get taken out and killed. Uh, actually, I don't know. Wow. Did they survive? Seriously? I think they've lost their. They've lost their um, the carriages, I think, but yeah, the guns survived surprisingly. I think it's because the um, grasses came forward here, they got scared off by those. And it looks like another cab fight looks like it's going to. Oh, it has been going on over here as well. We've got the uh, guard, Chevalier's there going in. They actually did manage to, it looks like, route a British infantry unit. Wow, surprising. Failed to form a square, and there you go, the uh, Hussars over on this flank here. Also now being scared off by a uh, lifeguard, Grassier's as well. Getting close to the front line, just like some uh, Cossacks here return as well. But yeah, infantry and guns are not looking good here for the opposed fight. I don't know what whether these guns yeah, have bugged out now, but they are now routed. There you go. And the good one. Oh, they didn't even lose the carriages, they could have still got out of there. That is unfortunate for him. Yeah, the uh, grass is getting blasted as they go. And the infantry line has to retreat again. I mean, Britain doesn't seem like he's got lots of uh, infantry here in this army, to be honest, either. This seems like a strange build. Unless uh, he's not sent a lot of his forces here, whether he sent more of them this way, which looks like, yeah, the Anglo, sort of like Spanish army is now facing off against 1809, who's trying to send support here with chasseurs and dragoons. And it does look like over on the far side here, also, uh, 1806 Prussia campaign is fighting off against Russia, and it's looking like they're getting pretty close to an engagement now. Russia looks like he's going to use his house as sort of his linchpin of his defense. And he's got his own fair share of nasty units here as well. We've got, yeah, the least amount of infantry so far, and lots of uh, dragoons being shown. Uh, dragoons, I feel like, for Russia, are usually the best sort of money can buy sort of resource. You don't want to bring too many cuirasses, I don't think, really. I've got the guard, uh, La Capet. Uh, Lagarde Capet here, so it's a good cav unit, a good um, Dragoon unit, fairly big, 68, we have got a Curassia unit here, it's vast, Curassia unit, 150 man unit, wow, okay, we've got Grenadiers of the line, Grenadiers of Pied, so we actually got the guard, uh, so like, these are like middle guard, uh, Grenadiers here, so we've got them, which is kind of surprising, uh, yeah, we've got these uh, Grenadiers, uh, yeah, it's like they've got for a very much guard build, like, yeah, we've got the Grognards here, wow, okay, and we've got Wow, a lot of grenadiers. I think he's brought mostly grenadiers. Looks like he has. Massive grenadier force over here. It really is. He's running these troops. I oh, know they're not. They're just. Well, they're kicking up dirt. So they have been running. I oh, know they're still fresh. But I mean, that's all well and good bringing all these grenadiers. And yeah, he's going to need them to take that house and duel with Russia. So it's not a bad idea. But in a line fight, you don't really be using these guys. Like these grenadiers, the line, and the, uh, the grognards. You don't really want to be using them if you don't have to. In, in the old fight, but there you go, that's be interesting to see how that goes. Over on this side, it does seem as though it's getting worse though for Poland, and we're seeing a big charge here. Squares are resisting the light goons. You can see there's one French cab unit, uh, one French infantry unit here doing his job. More squares won't form there, actually, the Yager yeah, could not form square. Kind of weird having Russians on both sides. They have actually made a counter attack on this side here. The lifeguard Trasquez tried and failed to break through this square here. Um, yeah, this is a Britain as well. What a cab actually build. Well, seems like it's just a lot is a generally a lot of cab. And here we go. Dragoons actually managed to 1809 support him here. And looks like he's now gonna charge. And he's light infantry here. They can definitely form square. I think we like the King German Legion light infantry leech in form square. And there you go, skirmish has been dealt with by the French goons. And it looks like after that, look at that, that sort of uh, charge there from the French has helped sort of save the poles and kept them in the game. See here, the Lance is going into that more skirmishes. And Britain, what is Britain doing with this country? It's all just appeared now out of nowhere. Lots of Portuguese stuff, by the way, by the looks of it. Looks like a lot of these. The dust clouds have suggested there's been a bit of running going on, but I'm not sure. 
but it does seem as though, yeah, it looks like a very sort of Spanish Portuguese army has been brought here by uh, by this player. So maybe a bit easy to take out. Maybe with British not there, it might actually be a bit easier. And actually, it looks like Britain is getting rolled up a little bit here by the uh, by the French. Please be careful. This is Haas here. Yeah, you need to get out of there. Is uh, square? I think he's got a unit inside the square. Wow. Okay. Interesting move. He's got yeah, a unit inside the square. I'm pretty sure they could also square anyway. Lance is going in, spearing his head. So be careful to pull through the square. And hey, yeah, how did that unit route? It's right in the middle. Right in the middle of that square. How did that route? I do not know. Whether it's just low morale already, but yeah, here can go the infantry now. So yeah, we've got Russian Yager going in, charging the square. It's a good way to combo. And it also looks like we can see the. Uh, the French infantry going in as well. Yeah, in a melee fight, Britain is not so great. But yeah, Hussars taking advantage of the uh, December squares with the French and the counter charging. And yeah, Britain still losing out of that infantry fight there. And now, with the uh, rousing infantry, that's you see upsetting the uh, the British cavalry. And that is looking like that's going to go. And Poland looked like he really was going to lose that. He was on the back foot on a, in a 2v1. Looked like he was uh, doomed to lose that one. And H29 has kind of bailed him out. Uh, Britain's not out of it yet. He's still some infantry. Most of his cab's gone, his artillery looks like it's uh, in a bad spot as well. Looks like that's been uh, removed. Oh no, is that the Russian artillery? It's actually the British army did bring in the artillery. Brought their infantry and cab. It's still, you know, pestering and Poe's got a long way to go supporting anyone. But uh, yeah, just see, and he's racing over here as a Spanish player. What is he doing? Sending his cab racing over. Is he trying to support and just harass over here? I do not know. Very interesting move. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, France on this side, though, is now rushing uh, the Russians. He's rushing them. And the go here, the Grenadiers. He... Fighting in the line here. The guard proving their worth. We've got the Grognards going in as well. And they've routed those Russians, and yeah, they're going to send them back in. The first line of Russians is kind of getting dealt with here by the guard. It's do a setting to these other grenadiers, and I think to try and support this, give this, uh, this uh, assault a bit more. Oh. I don't know what's fighting in the building itself. Oh, it's is it more frog now? No, and there's a guard unit for the Russians in there. I don't know what's gone in. Is it maybe the grenadiers of Italian? Like the uh, grenadiers of know that. I think they might have gone in. Yeah, bring up these other units here. I mean, these. These uh, Grenadiers here taking an absolute pounding in a line fight. They're definitely not going to win that. A line fight really against the Russians. I don't think so. It's like the units are so small. They're really there for the bayonet twirling. Yeah, here we go. Looks like the uh, other large Grenadier unit is going to go in soon. Try and give that some impetus. And here we go. Look at there's the Curassias getting stuck in. So they're dealing with the Russian goons here quite nicely. Plenty more Captain Kirin as well. Hussars and hits that big mess of cavalry. And the Russians, I feel like, are stacking up their goons here. There's two units right on top of each other. They should probably have pulled one of those out and try and outflank the French. Maybe because you've got uh, Murat himself. Yeah, the Russians are getting steadily overwhelmed here and routed. And there's one unit routes through the other. It's causing the other one, to, other dragoon unit to be upset. And that probably will route very soon as well. And that is a pretty effective charge there from the uh, from the French. I mean, they've kind of been shattered in a few other areas here, but yeah, their infantry has broken through. Whether they have enough, though, like, I mean, the Cavs still healthy, which is great. But uh, whether they have enough, like, infantry really to actually make an effect in other games, I don't know. Uh, the HRE and the uh, 1814 France, uh, sort of like combo here, are, uh, these two are certainly having a good standoff. No one's really doing much. They certainly brought the mass of 1814 here. Look at the size of this army. This is all there. Oh, I don't know. This is 1809 as well. Um, 1809, I guess, trying to double team HRE. Spain is not allowing it. I guess this is why he's running. Like, you can see the dust clouds here. Spain is running to go to HRE. Bit of a bad move, really. You never really run infantry unless you're going into a charge. You just tie your men out. Um, but yeah. Definitely a, a strange move, and it seems like the Spanish player here is going to try and use his, uh, his cav unit that's won its, uh, its fight over here. He's going to try and maybe harass him his infantry, which looks like most of it can form square, so it should be okay. And there you go, routed easily, so that was a bit of a waste. 
could have just allowed the units to freshen up and just re-rally. But yeah, there you go. It looks like... Uh, oh my gosh, seriously? Poland has managed to lose this fight. I'm... Oh my god. I thought they had this wrapped up. Okay, yeah, it looks like... Look what, 1809 withdrew his support to start with. And uh, yeah, Poland looks like an aligned fight has just lost this to Britain here. There you go. That is a bad a bad start there for the Imperials. I thought they had won this. And you can see actually that we have uh, Poniatowski here. He's running for his life. He's not got any army left. So I don't know why he's bothering. He might as well fall on his sword like a, a true general. It looks like, yeah, 1814 brought a lot of Dragoons. Uh, sometimes 1814 can bring some absolute beast cavalry units like Ladoo or just Carabineers and uh, Cuirassiers. But it's not like they've done any of that. They're just relying on the heavy cab from 1806, which kind of makes sense. Uh, France is still trying to storm this building. I don't know what's in there. It looks like it is uh, Udinot's Grenadiers in there. We've got more guard here still fighting with just line of control. And the building has been taken. There you go. So uh, Udinot has managed to get inside. And uh, the Russians have been kicked out. I think it is more guard Russians in there that have been uh, kicked out. But there's still more Russians back here, including more guardsmen that can go in if they want to. So uh, we'll see where they get committed. Murat here needs to be careful as well. I think there's still some Russian cab yet in the back just sniffing about. We've still got a Dragoonian here that might want to get brought forward. There's also artillery here that's shelling the, uh, the French and forcing these, uh, these units back across the river to join the main force. And the Russians can now shift these troops forward as well to try and help out that area. They're just like gen generic line infantry, nothing too snazzy. But with the now Udino holding the building, it means that the Russians get fired upon as they try and support this fight outside the building. And it looks like we're going to see Grenadiers, the line going in. I think all of, like, yeah, the Grognards and that are all gone. Yeah, they're all retreating and breaking. So, yeah, the Guardsmen are all dead. It's just now typical Grenadiers. They're still fighting the Russian Guards here. I think this must be um, 1814 Russia. This to be, uh, this is a lot of Guardsmen bring bring board. And uh, they can often bring a lot of cheap Russians. Can, uh, or cheap guardsmen can the uh, can those Russian uh, 1814 armies. Looks like uh, 1809 Spain now is getting ready to face off against 1809 uh, Anglo Spain. Or oh, it's just really Spain and Portugal by the looks of it. But you know, at least they're you know fighting the same era. But there you go, an easy kill. It looks like a little skirmish has been taken out there by the French and Chasseurs, getting their uh, first kills of the day. And then what are they going after now? I mean, there was a few targets. There's a general here that really should be the uh, the primary target. I don't know why the French are not going for that, but they're going for a rear charge that seems into the infantry. Trying to get rid of that. Looks like they found some squares, though. Really, they should have gone after the general. I mean, he would have been the real, tar the real target to take out. Take off the head of the snake. Don't know why they didn't do that. HRE's tripped in cav across. Seems like the Anglo's uh, Spain army over here either is low on cavalry or is out of it after the helping of the other British army. And here we go. Charge from the HRE going in. Disguise. Yeah, look like they found French units who can't form square. They should have a bit of success there. Squares around might assist though. Are they gonna and yeah, here we go. H3 now looks like it's coming forward. Maybe go into melee? It's unlikely. H3 you relies on relies on your shooting and a mass they have. It actually looks like yeah, they're carrying a loose fire. And France again going in with the Chasseurs, so they're going to try and hammer an anvil with a Dragoon coming in for support. And they have actually managed to rub those uh, the Spanish units there. Again, still, the cap is general is here. There is a little Chasseur that's now cutting off any sort of retreat. And these units near here need to go for this general. Take him out, and you finish this army, uh, like the Anglo-Spanish one, pretty quickly. France has, uh, yeah, just absolutely annihilated this Anglo-Spanish army. It's, I don't know what's happened here, but it's not set up itself in a proper line and seeing itself not being well protected by uh, cavalry either like I, I don't like that i mean i'm all for helping out teammates but, like the anglo-spanish army it seems like it's in two places at once like the cavalry is was over here helping and they stash of their infantry and they didn't have cavalry support and protect themselves from the french and they're also just standing on top of them. what is going on it's really messy like they're both like both players trying to shoot trying to get in the melee a lot of blobbing going on here. France finding it very easy to rout them. It's like these units here routing and now obviously upsetting the Portuguese unit here. And now 
cause that to see already down at Orange Rap pretty immediately. And uh, something's going on over here. What is going on here? Jurassic has gone in. What did the, what did they happen? I don't know. Gar oh, they just lost the uh, Dragoons, I guess. But they could get charged, like, routed here because the Jurassic is. The uh, Russians here going in. They're causing a few issues here for the French. They lose a Jurassic. That's a bit of a loss. And, uh, yeah, Russia has fallen back. He's given up uh, defending that house. Probably the best idea. Use these guns here. It's sort of like your lynch for now. And, yeah, if this uh, Dragoon keeps chasing the Jurassic, it probably will route it. 102 of them left. There's still a healthy unit. Dude, yeah, don't want to be losing that, really. And you can see here, France, 80. I mean, this is a bit of blobbing going on here. Really, really, shouldn't really blob up this much. But then, kind of both sides have been doing it a bit. So, Ponyatowski has got himself over here. A coward. Abandoned his army. And yeah, Britain is on the way. The small force that's left. But it's about five units. It's not really going to do a lot. Really, like, I mean, HRE or, like, the, uh, the Spanish and Portuguese units, they need to fall back. Just fall back. Like, you're just standing here, just, like, watching as your units break. Like, it's... It's not a, it's not a good move, put it like that. You need to sort of, like, just give ground and just accept that you're going to lose troops. You don't want to keep fighting this losing battle. Like, you just, all you're doing is just, like, letting your troops get routed here. Like, they're just getting get upset and, uh, upset and routed. So, concerned. That's the word. I mean, if you're gonna stand here, at least charge the unit. Charge the force gets you. Might as well do that. Instead of shooting, you don't have time to shoot it because you're gonna route it. Just like that. And there you go. And HRE's got like one more unit that can get routed. And I mean, really, they should get this skirmish back. It's more than quick enough to get back. But the HRE, if it stands in this forest, you know, you can extract losses on, on the French. In a line fight, they're gonna do okay, and the forest will give them some cover. And uh, yeah, they can use these guns as well to support them. I mean, 1809 here is obviously needs to reform up before we can go in. Otherwise, I mean, if he just carries on charging into these uh, HRE lines, he'll probably just end up getting mass routed himself. Uh, looks like looks like uh, the Dragoons broke. I uh, don't know what happens to the Carassias, though. Still alive. They managed to get out. They have 81 riders left. Grenadiers over here. It's a strange build, just like mostly Grenadiers. I mean, I guess it sort of works. Oh, he's got a, he's, uh, he's got a little, that little hussar in the back, in the back lines. He's actually managed to rouse some of the Russians. Russian infantry usually typically can't form square, like, apart from like the guards. See here, yeah, that's that's what's happening. Squares are not being formed, and hussars are hacking through them like a hot knife through butter. There you go, more of them routed. Leaves just a couple of guardsmen, I think, for the Russians here and their guns and the general. Yeah, looks like one guard, one Yeager over here. Oh no, this is actually some of, this is just a line infantry, yeah, so they're pretty much out, pretty much spent. And there's two gun batteries here. So yeah, Francis needs to try and flank around them, uh, and they'd be okay. I mean, also the Hussar could probably do the job and just sneak him behind. I don't know what formation the Karasis are doing there, but they're doing a formation, that's for sure. Looks like France is carrying on. Looks like uh, a HRE Cavian has been committed as well. Try and stall them. If they can rouse them, that'd be great. Squares, yeah, need to be formed. They need to stop the rot. They really need to just stop like this mass route that's taking place here. Squares are getting the people all over the place. All the blast. Stop blasting these French as they come in. Routed, Got the amount of men. Like these, these units are like 150 men plus. Got the guns fired as well. The canisters. They're getting closer. 1809 and 1814. I mean, 1814 is barely committed, I feel like. He's still got, like, Marines back here. He's still got Guardsmen as well, like Voltaire's. Yeah, he's still got some decent units back here. He's got Sappers and Veterans and Guard National. Yeah, so he's still got some decent units he can throw in. He's committed a few line infantry to sort of tie down the uh, HQ there. He's allowing 1809 to sort of really smash in and go for the heavy hit. My, oh, that was pretty nice, actually, from the cannon there. That routes that line. You've got to get a few more of those off, boys. The Legion of Han over here. Spanish. I mean, this is a Spanish campaign. You'd expect uh, nothing less than some Spanish infantry. It looks like, yeah, I mean, the French, they shouldn't have really continued. And they are getting themselves routed. They're just overcommitted. Just needed to slow down. These units are exhausted after their melee fight. They didn't need to uh, be thrown forward. They should have just stayed back at that massive. Sort of like over here where they won the initial fight and then just re rallied. 
They had all the time. I mean, it looks like pr uh, the Prussian campaign over there is going to win, maybe. I mean, AC 14's got Cav in the back. I presume it's just gone around the side. And yeah, HRE's thrown all his Cav every uh, onto the other side to deal with 1809, Franz. And looks like the Dragoons are coming in here. Squares like, aren't going to be able to be formed on this flank. And they go with the Dragoons. I mean, it's going to be a slow charge. It's going to be exhausted or winded. And go through Forest, I think, slows down Cav. And yet, it doesn't seem like it's mattering. Also doesn't help that the Grenz just blast in the back of their own HRE troops. Uh, yeah, poor rookie mistake there from the HRE player. Don't shoot back to your men. So the Grenadiers here, they were going to hold the line. Hungarian Grenadiers holding the line, doing their bit. The Dragoon de la Police, General, being stopped. And there's another unit here, the Royal Alaman. Yeah, the French just need to get in their, in their young guard now. These guys are all um, tied up elsewhere. Just get these men into melee. Start charging them. A good combo of uh, infantry and cavalry that will do the job. Uh, it looks like uh, 1814 time to uh, pull out his fingers. Pull out his fingers. Pull out his fingers. Pull out his thumb. And uh, get, get uh, some stuff moving over to his left flank. Looks like it's going to be Marines and line infantry. Britain, by the way, over here has been super slow coming forward. I don't know what he's doing. He's just been shooting Chester Cheval. I mean, also looks like. Yeah, just shooting Chester Cheval and already routing. He needs to get over here if he can get this up. Horse artillery, maybe unlikely. I imagine the players watching it, uh, but he could just also threaten the back of this uh, French force of it, and you know, turn some forces around, maybe help out the HRE. Uh, Chasseurs over here also way in behind. They're going to cause a bit of a problem, it seems. It looks like the French went with the, uh, the policy of shooting point blank into these squares. It's not a bad idea. They are grenadiers. It might, in a melee fight, actually beat these line infantry and trilliers here. And it looks like Russia has managed to hold on over here. It looks like uh, he tried to maybe attempt to charge across the river. It looks like the, the line infantry and the guns here have managed to rout uh, most of Prussia. And it looks like, uh, yeah, it's just Murat left and the cuirassiers. And that's pretty much it, it seems, for the uh, for the French on this flank. Russia's actually won this one as well, but at a great cost. The real deciding factor is going to come over here between the HRE and 1814 France. Uh, Britain is on the way slowly, but yeah, like I said, slowly and uh, actually looks like Anglo um, like the Anglo Spanish are still in the game as well it looks like a relatively elite unit here look like a guard or something like that that's coming forward looks like a H3 turning the unit as well around to sort of shoot the chasseurs there not a, good, not a bad idea they are exhausted not too much of a danger 1809 has a couple of units left not much he needs to get his troops out of the way of the 1814s as well, like they're just shooting each other. Rookie mistake there. Ah, sorry though, is carving through these poor marines. Really nice shots there from the HRE. Shame about this assault on this flank here from the uh, French. I think that was where it really needed to happen. They needed to send in the infantry. I think they were, like France and melee over HRE and melee. They're gonna win that fight. And that's what they really should have done. I mean, the cuirassiers should stay to so just sort of work their way down the river and get in behind the HRE again. Where the squares can be, if squares can be formed, that's fine. Again, they can just do, should really just force the HRE to form square, close the distance, either so they can point blank shoot them or just charge them, which is really what they should do. The French just need to go in with the melee abilities. And look at that, it actually looks like, oh no, this is Shea, 1809, 1809 general. Really just throw his general away like this, block off. Um, French, sorry, the, the British, but he has just done that, and there he goes to Chase routing. He still has troops alive, so he should be careful of that. I mean, those troops are, I don't know what they're doing. Looks like he's either give, he's given up or something, but look at that, yeah, I mean, 1809 can get his horse artillery point blank range if he wants to, and start blasting the HRE infantry. But uh, it also looks like uh, the Anglo Spanish army could just come in here and uh, wipe these guys off the board. They want to do eight pounds a day. National Guard now being forced to deal with the uh, tradition that's Spanish over on this flank here. Looks like they can have the job. And they are in danger of being encircled here, the French. Very much in danger. I mean, we look at the map. You can see sort of like the uh, the red markers of the of the French here are in very much in danger of being encircled. If we can just get a couple more units. It'd be a very loose encirclement, but it would be a encirclement, I guess, nonetheless. Funny Tausk is still alive. It seems such a long time ago that his army just got absolutely massacred. Got flankish chasseurs, there's some of the guard chasseurs, trilliers, well. A young guard here as well. I mean, in a line fight, some of these guys will do okay, like the trilliers will be okay. I and mean, it looks like they outnumber, certainly unit wise, 
uh, the HRE here, but maybe not actually man-wise. Like, these units are much, much larger than you think. I think that's Suchet just being mowed down, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be general spawn for the French. Britain, I mean, with his last sort of like four or five infantry units here, though, can do a lot of damage. I mean, these units are very good at, obviously, like, rate of fire is really good. And, you know, the line fight can really do a lot of damage. I think they still have their general as well. I've not had any notification of any of the British generals dead. Where are some of them are routed, which is potential. I don't know. I can't see the British generals coming up from in, from behind. So it looks like you might have routed. Yeah, the British just need to get these. Uh, this these building has fallen there you go. to the enemy. Been lost. Oh, uh, I guess actually, yeah, the Russians still hadn't actually taken the building back, so the French still did hold it. Uh, they don't anymore though. The Russians have gone. It looks like they also blasted it to eighty percent. So sort of doing a lot of damage to the unit inside with the uh, the guns over there, which is not a bad tactic. And yeah, now they hold the building again. So if it does come to an LOC, I guess that would be uh, one for them. They hold Molina de, de Almansa, but actually the French still hold one themselves. That's a four pointer over here. So uh, yeah, I guess if it comes to an LOC sort of uh, thing, the French do actually have uh, the LOC themselves. They could win it this way. Uh, so it's going to be infantry, uh, like a Voltaire in there. Is holding it so actually yeah I don't think um I don't think Molina's worth anything actually so that's doesn't really do a lot for them. Yeah at the moment the French winning on an LOC don't think the coalition actually sent anything to go and uh, occupy the one back here at uh, Barossa itself. Like I said, I still think a bayonet charge is, you know, in the offing. I mean, they, oh no, the Russians are now flanking. I would say they were flanking the HRE, but now the Russians are counter-flanking the French, and they're going to have to turn one of their line infantry units to deal with that. Where are those cuirassiers? Oh, they're way back here. They're just hiding in the forest. They are hidden. They are tired, concerned by casualties. There's still Murara alive with them. They, they can definitely do some damage. They have to be used. So we're going to see the uh, horse artillery being shifted forward here. I mean, if they can blast their way through the uh, HRE lines, that'll be also quite handy, handy as well. But it looks like also the HRE can do the same to the uh, to the French. Here. They're, they're take, they've got their guns. I mean, actually, only one of them is still intact. It looks like the other one's lost its crew who uh, maybe flank chasseur fire. I think that is probably what they're trying to take out. And the HRE are being a bit aggressive on this flank here. They smell blood. So an opportunity. We have got grenadiers here. So there's capability of a melee assault from the HRE, but there is Marines and other things, you know, still over here, and the uh, Young Guard as well. I mean, they are kind of over overlapping, but you need to be careful of that when firing. And they will be friendly fire for people by doing this. You need to make sure they don't, yeah, overlap, really. And again, the Spanish, I mean, they, they need to keep their units coming forward, because otherwise it's going to potentially shoot the, uh, the Grenadiers in the back. And that's not going to help the situation either. Why is Britain busy farming over here? Turn these men around and start shooting the French here. You've got to deal with the, uh, like, the enemy still at large. I mean, this situation is firing. It's firing, it's firing, it's firing it's horror. Strange choice as well. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the skill of some of these players is pretty limited. It's not as, uh, not as good as some of the players in the past. Certainly some of the ca uh, formations we've formed up here are interesting. And there you go, the Grenadiers actually just broke. That is unfortunate, they're being forced back there. Over on this side here though, the Grenadiers have been successful in breaking through to the Lion Tree with the help of the Russians. And they're going to continue on. They're going after the Young Guard Trilliers here. There you go, they routed the Young Guard. So the uh, next unit hit the Le Pons. Surely that's too much for the uh, Hungarian Grenadiers, but they have re rallied. If the Lion Patria can shoot into the side of this uh, French unit, they can certainly help win this fight for the Grenadiers. The Russians are going in as well, so you know, to make sure that this uh, French unit stays very much in the middle. So they can also challenge the square. I don't know why they call them the square, really. There's no cab nearby. One 
realistic. I don't think the controller can have any of it. The only cav unit on the field is now. Well, actually, I say that. I was going to say the only cav unit on the field is, in fact, Kiras is, but it is the Shasir here. I think they might have just uh, tried to go for a rear charge onto the, uh, the HO unit. So they should have really gone for this gun. Take that out. But it is now the Kiras is, I think, are the only uh, infantry, uh, the only cavalry left in the field. The infantry here for the HO is moving forward. And they've routed Lacan as well. The Grenadiers here do absolute work. Can they get into melee here? Deal with these uh, units. I mean, the uh, infantry has done the right thing and pushed forward to challenge the square. Does France feel like they're, they're kind of throwing this game away a little bit here. And there you go. The Hungarians break finally. Yeah, France, early stages, you know, doing okay. I mean, they did lose the, the Polish army pretty early on, but I feel like everywhere else they were really pushing back the Russians and also Hatri, and they also just mass routed the Anglo-Spanish. But now, yeah, they're struggling to deal with what remains of the Hatri and also Russia. And really, I'd say that they, the numbers are with the Russians and the Hatri, I'd say, at this moment. Quality, still unsure, but I mean, it's 1814 left. Their units aren't necessarily top class. Oh, we've got the Dragoons returning as well. So this is huge. 1814 has his Dragoons back. He's going to need these. Is he, is he aware that he has these back? I mean, if he sends those guys in, I think he gets a, a victory here because this general is open. These guys are... They are known about and they are moving now, walking. Here we go. I think they are going to get moving. And oh, he's, Is he running them already? Don't run at this distance. Don't run. This is a long, long way away. And it also kind of gives away what you're doing. Especially if you give the attack order. Yeah, he's running both of them. I mean, they're active, so, you know, they, they're going to get there pre fairly quickly. But, yeah, he needs to be careful. He needs to be careful. Just exhausting these units when necessarily. Like, I wouldn't charge till where they are about now. Now, I would say it's fine to charge in. In go the cuirassiers as well. They are going to go in. I don't know why they're going in over here. They're winded. They need infantry support, really. And the guards in form square. That might be their funeral, though. And the Russian general's been t uh, like targeted as well, and that might be him. But we'll go and see what the uh, French cav goes and does. It uh, has got that general over here. And that's the HRE general that's been dealt with. I think that's, uh, that's yeah, the HRE general now has fallen. So that's now without a general. They've turned their infantry around to start shooting the cavalry here. There's red lining. That's the Russian general also gone as well. The Cassis have dealt with him. Murat there cheering them on. And now the HRE are without a general. And uh, yeah, just when it's looking really good for them, it's just turned on a uh, turned on a sixpence there. And now they are uh, probably at a disadvantage. The French could probably now uh, charge them and win probably any melee fight. I still don't think a line fight works for the French though. They also seem like, yeah, the volleys that the French are putting into the, uh, into the HRE here are actually damaging morale. And it's doing the opposite. And actually the opposite's happening in the... HRE are really damaging French morale here, these ones redlining. The guns could do with maybe trying to blast the HRE infantry in front of them. That would probably help with morale. Looks like some uh, infantry over here. I mean, just getting out. Yeah, it's getting shot by the uh, the artillery, uh, the, the horse artillery there. I mean, the Britain's been so slow in actually bringing his troops over here. It's actually given the French a chance. I think if the British, like, actually thrown in their troops and actually, you know, commit, got in behind, then I think that the French would have just been doomed. The Hatry's done a decent job of tying these guys down. Actually, look, you can see they're breaking through 1814. I get these sappers into play. If you can, try and route one of their units. Maybe the sappers go for uh, this Russian unit and then work their way down. Oh, here we go. Dragoons going back in. I was going to say, I thought the HRE were red line, uh, orange line for a moment. Dragoons going in. This could be how they get rid of the, uh, the HRE. Yeah, they go one gone. Can they get the other one? And you just need to keep trying to route a couple of these. I mean, I'll get the French line infantry to get into combat as well, to be honest. Again, shoot these Dragoons. They've routed that. That Grenz got routed. I think maybe just from Shots from his own uh, friendly side, maybe. Can't think of anything else, really. I mean, 
this one might run because of uh, friendly units riding around if it the Royal Alamander are getting in there. We've got oh, and we've got the Trillias going into melee. Wow, okay. Don't see that one from the melee. They are kind of saving a bit here on the uh, Patriot. Yeah, really are saving. Guys, that's gonna kill. Yeah, that's gonna route the Royal Alamander. That's that's not right. Shouldn't fim. It might have been a mistake. Like the unit was turning and firing. Like I feel like he just gave the attack order. There you go, it's finally gone. That could be costly, you know, losing that Dragoon unit. We will see, we will see. I mean, now it's pretty much down to this. Like, what is left, you can see here. I mean, Hatry's got a couple, of, three units left. There's still one, like, Anglo-Spanish unit, and then the uh, Brits have three units here. The Russians, I think, got now fully out. Unless they're still in that building. I don't know if they are. I think they might have come out of the building and... Uh, well, and got routed by the uh, cuirassiers. And we'll just fast forward a little bit as we uh, we wait for something to happen because there isn't a lot going on. It's just a bit of a line fight. Britain getting ra uh, sorry, Britain routing the guard national there. And yeah, it's just, it's kind of what do uh, the French do next? I mean, these uh, HR units yeah are looking a pretty weak and wavering quite a lot because of friendlies around them. So they should probably take advantage of that, deal with them, and then deal with the Brits. I would have said it would have been the, the way I'd go about it. And But yeah, they're actually shifting troops. It just seems everywhere. They're not really concentrating one spot and trying to deal with them. They also need to bring up this horse artillery. Just start blasting stuff. It's one of the most mobile, most useful units, and it's not really actually doing a lot. Again, you've got to get these sappers or something into uh, into action, trying to get them to into them. I don't know where they are too, they're firing. Firing there, there are shots that were landing over here behind, whether that's... Oh, it's British artillery all the way over here. Seriously? They still have British artillery alive? Oh, it's the Spanish ones. Why haven't they wheeled these up? These are horse artillery. Don't have them so far away. Wheel them up all the way over here. You've got those guys right in the front line and start blasting the French. That would have really helped out the situation as well. I mean, it looks by the skin of their teeth like France is going to maybe win this one. Mainly because, I mean... I feel like there's just a lack of pressure from the Brits. Once they, uh, they did win, it looks like actually the Dragoon's uh, General Police had rejoined the fight. The Alamand... Well, actually, no, I think they never left. I think it's the Alamand that routed, wasn't it? And Muraz over there. It's like, uh, it's Jurassic as well. They could do just bring it a bit closer. Just, you know, walk it there. It's fine. It's fresh anyway. You should definitely be moving. Looks like some of the HR units are returning. Looks like, I think they're going to melee. Yeah, looks like they are running. Well, they have to be running anyway. They're just going to get shot by skirmishes. Probably get routed by them. I mean, they did cap there you go, building's been lost. Uh, oh, Russia has taken... Oh, Russia's got over here and actually has taken um, the the four-pointer in the north. Uh, the, the skirmisher there just got kicked out. Okay, so Russia did have a unit left. And he snuck it all the way over here. Is it an art... I think it's an artillery crew, looking at it. It's an artillery crew and he's got that all the way over there. And he's managed to route some um, Volt Gears. Okay. Well, well done, Russia, I guess. He now is technically in charge of when it comes to LOC. Uh, and if it comes down to, yeah, an LOC, it could be a victory for the coalition. But we'll see. I mean, the French still have 20, 20 minutes to try and win this fight. I am going to just start fast-forwarding as we watch the French here route the uh, the Brits. And, yeah, it's just kind of a matter of time to see just who wins. Yeah, the, uh, the HRO units, they did all route. I think this is Skirm, just doing their bit. And it's just then just going to be a bit of a mop-up, I think, from the French. I mean, this British unit here has just got in behind. What's it doing, like, doing that? I mean, if you're going to get in behind, at least shoot it while you're in behind. Or is he going for generals? A building, really going for... Oh, and then a building's been... Ca oh, his ruins have been captured? Oh, so the French have actually gone and captured the other four point in the bottom. Uh, who's actually gone down and done that? Oh, Murat's gone down here and done it. He's just gone down the road and captured it. So yeah, now it's now equal. And it looks like, uh, looking at the, the map... Oh, I did not want to go there. I wanted to go here. But we're going under the earth anyway. Oh, gosh. 
I do apologize. Just scrolling up. There we go. Get out, get out, get out. Right, what is going on here? Did they uh, recapture it? Oh, I think the French re-attempted to capture it. Are we off the map? Yeah, we are. The French attempted to recapture it. The Laguerre re-rallied. And it looks like uh, they, they failed to capture it from the uh, from the Russians. But it does look as though the uh, the French are going to uh, win this one. Well, actually, well, they're going to win it in the, in the field. They're not going to win it because the Russians still hold that. So LSC-wise, it's still equal. Whether the French can get back, they need to send start sending the yeah, chasseurs and their units over here, the Marines. Get back over there and try and recapture. That's all you have to do now. Britain's yeah, be knocked off the field. There is one artillery piece, which I would just ignore. And just go and take the uh, the LOCs and see what the uh, the French, oh, sorry, the, uh, the coalition do. But yeah, I will make a cut and I'll see you guys uh, when the French get over here. So we are back, and yeah, the French have arrived. They brought up their horse artillery here, and they are starting to uh, blast the uh, the Russian uh, building here. It's not really uh, too much excitement going on. Looks like also the French have sent uh, some troops to uh, to deal with the uh, gun here. So yeah, they've got the general, the La Police general, going in. They are going to uh, just take out this artillery. I don't know what's even firing at. Is it firing at Murara over there or something, or the cuirasses? I don't know. One or the other, it doesn't really matter, but it's gone, it's dead. And uh, we're back over here, and it just seems as though it's just going to be a waiting game. It's just, I think the um, flanker chasseurs and the trilliers here are going to probably just start to try and uh, blast uh, from the outside, while also the guns to try and level the building, try and reduce it. It's only 17 men, so it is only an artillery crew, so they should be able to uh, deal with it. If they reduce it to 50%, I think they, it does, um, you know, partly collapse. And I don't think they're going to wait for that. It looks like the French are just going to send in as many guys as they can. And there you go. They're taking the building. And I think that's pretty much it. We're now just going to have... Oh, uh, uh, looks like... Seriously, if the coalition got back into this one over here? They have. The fr Actually, the Russians never left. I think they have still got their musketeering here. Which, if that is the case, this doesn't matter. Because the uh, the French have eight points. And uh, Molina de Almanza is not actually worth anything you can see on the map. There's only two uh, villages that have actually point value. And these are the ones that uh, there's... So it's strange that they sent the uh, didn't send the musketeers over to support. I mean, it wasn't like the French had kept anything over here. They could have just gone down the road and dealt with it. Um, but yeah, it looks like the French are going to go over and maybe send over their artillery to blast them out. They could just level that building if they want to. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, basically just uh, just make another cut here, and then I will see you guys in a moment with the end results because it does seem as though the French are going to win through LOC or through just annihilating all the coalition. Either way, they are going to win this one. So there we are. I mean, it says a draw because the Russians never did get uh, knocked out of the building. Um, the artillery got so close, but then in the end did not fire onto the building and, uh, and try and reduce it. Hopefully I put up the end results for you guys to have a look at. This was sent in by General Horn, who was playing as, I think, 1806 Prussia. That's all a campaign. So um, yeah, well done to him. He had an interesting build, a lot of grenadiers and cuirassiers. It was a very expensive, very small sort of size build uh, but it did the job it took out most of the russians apart from the one in the building uh which in the end ended up being the french's bane uh the french certainly made a bit of a mess i feel like with 1814 and 1809 sort of like with the hre i think they could have better players that have dealt with the hre very easy there and just carry and dealt slowed down if they dealt with the um like the spanish army uh, they would have just slowed down 1809 would have just like regrouped and then just sent uh freshened up and then sent the boys in and probably uh, together they could have 2v1'd HRE quite easily. But yeah, hope you did enjoy this one. Uh, I'll quickly have a look at some of the unit stats. Uh, we've got 329 kills. That Curassia is very nice. Udino's Grenadiers getting 185 kills, 155 with the Grenadiers uh, of the line there. And you've got um, the 69th line infantry getting 124 kills, 116 with the Grognards, Hussars 114, 109 with some more Grenadiers there. And there are the rest of the kills. You can see a very small army in total. Uh, for Horn. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this NTW3 Clash. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you folks in the next one. Until then, bye for now.